Hey, so if you guys didn't know, check this out. I started another channel called the Grilling TV Network, right? You can see Pat Neely, myself, and other great chefs on there, you know, cooking up some fire recipes and giving some real knowledge. So go by, check it out. The link will be down in the description box below. And guess what, folks? Enjoy the video. Check it out. If you want to learn how to make barbecue pork belly burn-ins, I got you, folks. Hey, stay tuned. With that being said, listen, the full ingredient list will be down in the description box below. Okay, it's the season, right? You know what? We finna barbecue. And listen, if you really, really new to like, you know, getting out here and queuing, this is the perfect thing for you to do, right? So come on in here and take a look. This right here is the pork belly. If you look at it, if you're not familiar with it, what does it look like? Bacon. That's right. Listen, just imagine this. Now, I got this from Costco. They already slice them down this way. It usually comes on a big, you know, a piece like this and it's not cut. Obviously, it's just, you know, it's his belly, right? And so when you cut the thin slices of that, that's what we buy at the store. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this right here, right? You cut it down to the size that you like. Gotta tell you though, this slicer right here, ooh wee. But I want them to all be about this size, right? So I'm gonna take them. You wanna get yourself something like this, you know, just put them in here, right? Cause we gonna season them. Okay, so I want you guys to come here and look. You can see what I did right here, right? Look, we got a bunch of them. We got them cube size, right? Listen, we just want to put them inside that smoker that they develop that flavor. Then once it develops that, you know, that smoke flavor, it cooks down, we want it to be nice and soft, right? Like to be like the candy. Now, if you guys saw my uh, my real video, you know, I'm, I'm a fan of using mustard, you know what I mean, as, the, uh, as a binder. Look, I'm not going to put that much in there because we just want to make it a little bit on the tacky side, right? Like I said, look, mustard was a binder, right? Now you guys can thin it out a little bit, you know what I mean? I have done mustard, you know, cause it's so thick. I done put a little W sauce in there, just mixed it up just to get it more like on a liquidy side, right? So if you look over here, look, I'm gonna show you two ways you can do it. A lot of you guys already have that cause this right here is moving off of the shelf, right? This goes great with pork. This is my A series from the level up, right? And then right here, you can go this way. You can go with the original all purpose. Now, the reason I say that, look, this has a little bit more of a sweeter taste. I did an all purpose that was a little bit different than a traditional you know garlic onion and everything else everybody else is doing that's really like another one of my go-to's right but I'm gonna be using my a series so we got the binder on there I want you guys to pay attention okay so look what you want to do is you want to season right so you see I'm seasoning on the top layer I'm using that top layer right then when I hand toss it as you see what I'm doing right now as I'm tossing them over, you can see the seasoning starting to transfer to the ones that didn't have it. And then after I get them settled, I like to see them, you know, on the top. Then I go ahead and reapply, you know, apply some more seasoning to it. You really want to have coverage because that's where all your flavors are going to come from, right? So super easy. Do them just like this. I promise you these will be a big splash at your next party. Okay, so once you got them covered, look at that right there. That's what you want. And then I kind of like just topped it, dusted it just a little bit on the top, right? So now we just want to go ahead and take them. And then you want to get yourself a rack, like what you see what I have right here. And we'll just go ahead and start placing these right here on here, just like this. Okay, so look, now let me just tell you this. Listen, we're gonna be putting these in. We're gonna put them in for about three hours, right? Listen, we're gonna be doing them in our pellet grill. I'm gonna be doing 275 degrees. Now, it doesn't matter you got a pellet grill, you got a charcoal grill or whatever you have. If you're using charcoal, you're using something like a Weber kettle, don't forget to set up your zones, folks. Look, real simple, 275. We're gonna look at them about an hour and a half after that. We're gonna start making them get that flavor, folks. Okay, so my grill is up to temp, and we're gonna go ahead and just put these in the inside right here. Notice I put them on this wire rack, makes it easy to handle. We just put them in there and there. Okay, so look, I'm about to do something. I got a saying, you know what I mean? Everybody that uh, Q's got this saying, look, if you're looking, you ain't cooking. I'm finna open this up, but I want to show you guys something. This is after an hour and a half. Look at that right there. You can see they on their way to start to get soft. I'm gonna go ahead and just push this in there. Look at that, oh yeah. But we want to put a little bit more color on it. You know what I mean? Uh, that one needs a little bit, you know, it all needs a little bit more time. But just showing you what they look like, you know, after about an hour and a half, I'm gonna hurry up and close this. And I think I'm gonna go back in for about another hour to an hour and a half, right? Then we'll check it. Then we're gonna take it out and then we're gonna make it like 
super, super sticky and sweet. Okay, we've been maintaining 275 degrees. Now I'm gonna go ahead and look at them. We already looked at them halfway through at an hour and a half. This is what they look like at three hours. Look at that right there. I can just see. Yeah, these is nice. Okay, so look, now that we take these, took these out, right? I just wanna show you. I'm gonna grab this one right here. Look at how soft that is. But we gonna get them a little softer. We gonna put that glaze on there. I'm gonna be using my barbecue sauce, but you guys use whatever you would like. You know what I mean? So look, I'm gonna go ahead and start just putting these on here. We just wanna put them in just like this. Now these right here, look, they're a little bit on the smaller size. They kinda look like they dried out, don't worry. We just want them to be cooked. You know what I mean? And uh, I'll show you what we finna do with them. Okay, so this part right here, I gotta pay homage to, you know, Malcolm, Mr. Malcolm Reed. Look, this is where he helped me level up my game when it comes to these. You know what I mean? Uh, so I'm gonna just cut them. You know, we just put these over the top just like this, right? And I'm gonna continue to do that. Oh yeah, I'm really liking the slicer, folks. All right, and again, I gotta say, hey, Mr. Malcolm, this was a major level up, bro. When you're talking about having them candy, this right here just sends it right over the top. And then along with, you know, my barbecue sauce, watch what we finna do, folks. We just put this on here, we close our lid, we back up to temp. Remember, we had 275, I'm getting ready to put some foil over the top, put them back inside of the smoker, and let them go for about one hour. Okay, so let's look at it after about one hour, right? Look at that right there. Oh man, it smells incredible. Now I'm just using this at my probe. You wanna talk about soft? This is what you want. You see how it just goes in there? You get a little resistance from this one right here. You know what I mean? Look at these right here. Oh yeah. So we gonna take them down just a little bit further, but we finna put that candy on them, folks. This right here is these snacks that you put out for your guests when they there, and they probably gonna end up getting full on these. So just to break it down so you guys can see, let me just grab one of these. You wanna talk about soft? Look at that right there. You see that? I don't wanna destroy it, but we just put that in there like that. You know, put these in here, no worries. We're getting ready to add that candy to it. Now, again, this is like great to open up the season. You know, if you guys are doing anything as far as uh, just getting started, and then if you're new, you're talking about getting your confidence up, these are almost like foolproof. You know, if you like the pork, you like that bacon, you're gonna love this. Okay, so look, this right here is my barbecue sauce, right? I'm going a little bit on the spicy end, just to give it a little, a little touch up, right? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and just start adding this on top. Sometime I add honey, sometime I don't. It depends on how I feel by the time I get through coating these. If I wanna run inside and go ahead and grab some honey, I could put that on here. I could even add myself just a little bit more of the brown sugar, but my barbecue sauce is sweet enough. You know, I'm using my brand. You guys, if you don't have it, and matter of fact, it's coming, I'm waiting for a couple of pallets to get here now, but you guys use your favorite, you know, whatever you used to, you put that on here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put it back in. We're not gonna cover it, right? Cause we want it just to caramelize on the top. You know what I mean? So any sweet barbecue sauce, you know what I mean? Especially if it's got the brown sugar as a base or the molasses too, that kind of like just turns into like a nice little candy. As you can see how this is here, this right here is nice. Okay, so look at that work of art right there. I look back, I'm at 275. We put this in like this. And I'm only gonna let it stay in there for about 15 minutes. Okay, folks, it's like the moment of truth. You know what I mean? Uh, I, you know what, I'm not finna do all of that. I make these all the time, but you see that right there? I want, let me just flip this over. You see that? Can you see all of the, the goodness on the top? Look, you let it caramelize, you know, caramelize when you put it inside of there. Remember, it's uncovered. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm not finna over talk it. 
Uh, I'm tired of like trying to swallow and talk at the same time. Cheers, folks. This right here is fire, folks. Hey, I see it a lot of times in my videos. I talk about West Not Fair, but this right here, listen, if you do the pork to have the burnt ends, you know, off that pork belly, this right here is fire. Hey, hands down. I can just tell you, listen, you guys use your own barbecue sauce. If you don't, mine will be back in, you know, I'm waiting for a truck to get here right now with a couple of pallets of it. This will be back for everybody. But listen, you guys use your rub and however you do it, just follow the way I did this. And then I'm going to say big ups to Malcolm Reed, you know, for leveling up, show him about that butter and that, uh, that brown sugar. That right there just... Woo! With that being said, I'm not gonna take up no more of you guys' time. Look, this is a great way to open up barbecue season. You know what I mean? And if you're new, we're gonna get some confidence because we finna just work it on down the line because we got ribs, brisket, and we got some other little cool dishes to do on here also. Hey, with that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And guess what, folks? pork belly burn ins and I'm out. Peace.